did you maintain a relationship with Michael after the case throughout you, the years? You know, after the verdict, I had lived in Santa Maria in northern Santa Barbara County for six months. I moved back to Los Angeles, my home. Uh, I communicated with Michael a little bit, but the main subject of my communication was I felt he should leave Neverland. Hmm. Uh, and that did not go over so well because he loved Neverland. He loved what he created. He had created the most idyllic, beautiful, magical, enchanting place to live. You kind of had to be there during the day and you had to be there at night. At night, he had strategically placed lights at various parts of Neverland. He had he was playing Disney-like music. Um, it was such a beautiful place. The animals, the zoo, the amusement park. You, you, you have one of the greatest creative geniuses on the planet using his en enormous talents and creativity to create an environment to live in that he just felt so at home at. So I said, look, you got to leave here. I said, every place in life has a start and a finish. I said, I don't trust the prosecution. They've been humiliated before the whole world. You know, they thought there was no way they could lose this case. And they're going to be gunning for you. They're going to be looking for something to come after you on. Some child is going to wander through a fence and they're going to say the kid was molested. <laughs> they're going to come up yeah. with something. I said, I don't think you can live in peace here. And um, he had people calling me saying, what do you know? What do you, why did you conclude this? Because a lot of people didn't want him to leave, hmm. you know? Uh, but I told them the truth. I said, I just don't trust the environment. They, they've been humiliated. They're devastated by this loss in front of the whole world. And then I didn't hear from him for about maybe three weeks, four weeks. And then he called my law firm partner from Bahrain in the Middle East, where he had moved to. And uh, then, of course, one thing after another, he moved the Middle East. He was there about 11 months, I think. Then he moved, I think, to Ireland. He tried and he thought of living in England and um, eventually ended up back in Las Vegas, then moved to Los Angeles. Uh, to start his comeback tour, and then unfortunately passed away. Yeah, in 2009, he ended up dying. And you actually went to his funeral. I went yeah, I went to his burial. Burial, yeah. The large funeral um, at Staples Center, I was not able to go to because I was in the middle of a trial, and a federal judge would not let me have the day off. Hmm. So unfortunately, I had to miss that. I really wanted to go. I did say some words which were in the program about what I felt about Michael. But the burial I did attend. Yeah, such a loss and such a shock uh, to the world. 